everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. Just wanted to go through something quite unique today, but it's a really interesting technique uh, and topic that uh, was asked on the Enterprise DNA support forum. So I thought it would be a good idea to review it. Now, what was asked on the forum was uh, the member wanted to show the actual top ranked product name. So they want they wanted to in a in a card visualization show the um, so a text value they want to show a text value inside of a card to say okay well this is the top ranked product but they also wanted it to be dynamic so that if you selected say a different region you could then showcase in this card okay well what was the top uh, top product name or top product result so went through and showed uh, showcase how to do it. I'll, I'll leave a link below to the entire forum post if you want to review review the answer there. Um, but it's actually not too difficult. Now the key is to understand how to use top end, I feel. So top end is probably the easiest way you can use this. You can also use rank X, I would say, but top end is, is probably the most efficient way to create this uh, to create this result. So you see here, this is this is what we ultimately want. So uh, we want in a card, we just want to show a text value of product, say, whatever. Product top, so you see total sales here. This is the um, highest ranked, product 63. But then if I select, say, a different region, you'll see that this, this product dynamically changes. Now it's product 51, which is correct as per up there. I'll select another one, and you'll see that, uh, say, it's product 29. So it's a dynamic uh, card that changes for any selection. So how did I do it? How did I do it? Let's review the formula. I think um, by reviewing it closely, you'll you'll see, wow, it's actually not that difficult, right? It's just understanding, first of all, calculate, which is essential. You have to understand calculate, but uh, then top end, which is a really great um, table function or filter function that enables these sort of insights. So if you think about what we're basically trying to do, we are trying to, you know, uh, for any context, rank each product from one to whatever down to down to the bottom of the list and then we only want to show the top result so that is exactly what this is doing basically top n is a ranking type table function so what it does is, is it dynamically will create a, a table of rankings and then by specifying what number we want to retain in that table in this case we only want to retain one right um, but we could retain more um, that's that's why top end is great because you could also retain three or four or five but that wouldn't work in this case because we only want to return one text result but we can return just the top result of all of our products via total sales in descending order so this is actually this particular part of the calculate function this uh, this filter is basically doing that ranking for us um, virtually, but then only leaving the top result, the top, uh, the context of the top result. And what selected value is doing is it's picking up, okay, well, what result is left? And then it's saying return the product name of that top ranked result. And selected value allows you to uh, isolate text values well and then showcase them in, in particular visualizations or, or tables or cards etc so th this is it basically this is it this top end enables us to create filters based on ranking and because we only want to show one text result we we have to put one the number one in here and then selected value is doing the rest of the work there where it's actually just going to return the, the text value and then this can because we know that this is uh, is going to return what they call it what is called a scalar value which is a singular value uh, we can then put it inside of a card and so what this particular visualization it is just purely is purely that 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 measure that we created so that top rank product and that's how we then get this dynamic um, calculation every time you could also show the bottom rank product it would be a very easy change um, from 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 this particular example, but I mean this is a good one. I think this is this is one you know you could also change this to top rank region, top rank salesperson. So there's lots of great ways that you can utilize this technique. Top end, um, you know, I'm sure is probably not some, for for a lot of beginners out there in, in Power BI is not something you're fully uh, comprehending at the moment. But if you're not, then it's a really good function to learn well. There's lots of applications for uh, for ranking type analysis that are opened up once you understand how this function works. Okay, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed that one. Hopefully you got um, some interesting uh, insights from this one.
and can see how this could be applied in some of your own reports. I think there's lots of applications for it. If you enjoyed this one, uh, this content, uh, this video, then certainly throw it a like. I really appreciate it when you do that. Um, sort of really helps me create more and more content, which I really enjoy doing. Uh, and also don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA. Lots of content coming out all the time. Lots of uh, work, workshops and, uh, and tutorials. So I want to get those out to you uh, as soon as I can. All the best.